We all are in that journey where we, we start a relationship, we grow it, we invest a lot, we think it's the lifetime, the soulmate, and um, some are lucky and some are not. We have an expression in our tradition, say, um, the woman gets her destiny from the day that she gets married. Mm -hmm. And that for me at the beginning was like, what does that mean? What? Because it was very popular. I was at university, for example, we had dreams. I had a lot of girl uh, friends, friends who were girls, and we were all talking about um, when I finished the university, I want to do this, I want to do that. And we just started like, we didn't know at that time what vision board means, but we were talking about the dreams. And I remember I had um, two very good friends who were amazing, beautiful, smart, clever. They, they were on fire, they, really, they were always active. And uh, they got married. And then you know what happened? They started shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. And shrinking. They just disappeared and, uh, until it came a day and I never heard about them. Until it came a day, I see them in the street and I don't recognize them anymore. They lost their sparkle, they lost that. And they're scared to go, I have to go, oh, my husband should be waiting for me. I see another woman that she was also doing her um, university with, in the same, you know, say same subject as me. And but I never noticed her. I never, I never thought she could be a potential. I never thought she could be a somebody because she didn't have any aspiration. She didn't have any sparkle. She even didn't bother to be active. And I, and then I see her, I said, oh, where well, I've seen her. I see her on TV or I see her in a magazine or I see her somewhere in a business. So I said, oh my God, she, she, this one, this one, this one that she hardly could speak two words together. And they say, yes, because she has a very supportive husband. Never underestimate. We talk about women empowerment, our independence. Great, but we are only the half of it. Never underestimate and uh, the belief that you should have in yourself finding the other half that can support you in that journey because you can do a lot alone, but when you are together, you can do much more. But it's better alone than having somebody that is putting pressure on you and suppressing you and, and draining you and dragging you down and, and just uh, making you feel guilty and bad. So I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about something which is real, which happens. And I'm preparing a very, very powerful course, which I believe you'll be blown away. I want you to start seeding the thoughts that it exists, mm -hmm. it's real, it's not fake, it's not uh, a fairy tale, it's not illusion, it's real because I have collected some amazing, powerful case studies that show that once you put your mind and you believe that, okay, at first you complete yourself. First, you fulfill yourself. First, you bring yourself into that level where you feel so unstoppable. And then you start seeking the other half that is matching your level, that is matching your vibration, is matching your energy, is matching your electricity. So then you are able to attract the right person because when we are young, we, we just don't know what we want. We don't know what we're looking for. But at this stage, we all deserve. And why Why I've started um, collecting some interviews on that is because every time that I was doing events like this, even live events or like now that Dolly as well is bringing this conversation and more and more women bring this topic, I have realized that we have some very powerful women in our community who have achieved a lot and they are not complete because they feel like they they have invested so much in relationships that um, they haven't been rewarded, rewarding that much. And as a result, they had to let them go because they're powerful women and, they, and they're still standing in their own individual power. Now imagine if you get that power as a couple as a family, as a community, as a collective, 
as a nation. I mean, the collective power is, is like something an incredible. So um, I would love to start like uh, each time probably we can talk a little bit. So we seed the plant. Uh, how do you call it? Yeah, the thought. You plant the seed into your thought, into your mind, that there is something out there available and it's possible to have that complete journey. I remember when I was invited to speak in one of the uh, one of the biggest conference for a chamber of commerce. And uh, they're all powerful. I mean, I never have seen women like in that room. They were all multimillionaires. They had everything, everything. And then after I finished the speech, we had the lunch, everything was sponsored, and we sit there and I had a bunch of women to a big round table asking me a lot of questions and guess what they said well, wh why do we need all this money half of us at this table are single and the other half they're having troubles with their husbands we, we don't need the money why do we need them? and we have worked so hard to build these businesses to build these empires to make ourselves feel proud but you know what Especially because I tapped, I touched a little bit in my presentation the fulfillment part and the, the relationship. And you know what? You have touched such an important topic because if you don't feel complete, it's not enough. So I want to see the ladies in this community feeling complete, not only with their business, not only with the career, because sometimes it looks like we are giving the impression that we don't need men in our life and we don't we don't need to be married we are good enough of course we are start building that faith and that vibration into your mindset into your subconscious mind because it is possible and then you will see you will be happy you will be spreading happiness to other people you will you'll, um, be in the level of contribution you will achieve more so um, I don't want uh, just to talk about business all the time. Let's talk about how we as global women can have it all.